Once upon a time, there was a small little spider named Boris, and Boris was a spider. The circulatory system is best developed in spiders with book lungs, such as wolf spiders. In all spiders, the abdomen contains a tube-shaped heart, which usually has a variable number of openings along its side and one artery to carry blood forward and one to carry it backward when the heart contracts. These openings close during contractions. The forward-flowing artery, which goes into the cephalothorax, is branched in spiders with book lungs. After the blood is pumped through the arteries and enters the tissues, where the oxygen is diffused, the blood leaves the vessels and moves through large spaces called sinuses. Eventually, the blood recollects in a large cavity surrounding the heart, where the circulation cycle begins again. Wolf spiders, like other arthropods, have a nervous system that consists of a pair of ganglia located in the cephalothorax that makes up the brain, as well as several nerve cords that run throughout the body. Furthermore, spiders, in general, do not have ears, but tiny hairs called trichovotria, located on their legs that convert pressure waves in the air into electric signals as it travels to the brain. Also, because of their active hunting style, the wolf spider has a much more developed sense of sight from their eight eyes compared to that of many other species. You so shit! The reproductive cycle of a wolf spider begins with the mating of the adult males and females. Attracted to the female scent markings left by her drag silk, the male comes to the female's burrow where they perform a mating ritual involving the legs and palps. Mating occurs normally at night. When the egg sac is produced after mating, the female carries it around attached to her spinnerets until the eggs hatch. Once hatched, the female wolf spider carries the young on her abdomen until they are ready to leave and live on their own, at which the reproductive cycle begins again. As there are many different species of wolf spiders, there are multiple known methods used by them for feeding. The most common methods used by the wolf spider for hunting is by waiting for their prey to pass by them or the opening of their burrow, or by chasing their prey down, similar to that of a wolf, and from where their name is derived from. Some wolf spiders hunt for small fish or insects, and can skate and dive under the water to do so. Another uses its legs to fish and attracts fish before catching them. Once the prey is caught, they use their chalicera to inject venom to immobilize them before eating them. As wolf spiders are carnivores, they will eat small insects such as caterpillars, flies, other spiders, fish, and small animals. The respiration system of the wolf spider, like that of many other species of spiders, includes one pair of book lungs and one pair of tracheal tubules. Held within a sac of the body, the book lungs consist of many sheets of tissue layered together, creating the effect of pages of a book. This increases the area for the gas exchange to occur in the body. Thanks to the movement of the organism, oxygen is also diffused through the tracheal tubes that reach deep into the tissues of the body. As the muscles cause air to be pumped in and out of the spiracles, connecting the tracheal tubes outside of the organism's body, as well as the gas exchange that occurs with the book lungs, a sufficient amount of oxygen is able to diffuse throughout the wolf spider. I like Francie. Caterpillar?